What's up guys? So in today's video, I was going to show you something extremely rare. I'll get started. What I have here in my hands is something you probably have never seen before. This is the Russian Kropuchka camouflage. It is a copy of the US M81 Woodland camouflage. So I'll get started on the history behind this. And also later in the video, I'll be comparing the Kaprichka to actual US M81 Woodland so you can see the um, similarities between the two. So there was three variations of this type of camouflage. Um, the first variation was called the Less or the Least Camouflage, which is the Woodland version, the Russian Woodland version of the US M81 Camouflage. Um, you can see a lot of Spetsnaz operators using that during the second and first Chechen War. It was very popular camouflage. And another very popular camouflage was the Gorod camouflage, which is the urban version of this. It had a lot of more blues and blacks and whites. It was meant for urban camouflage, urban fighting. And that was heavily used during the first and second Chechen war. You can see a lot of videos and photographs of soldiers wearing that, Russian soldiers and even Chechen fighters. And then the third version of the camouflage which is very unknown, you do not see these at all, is the Kaprichka, also known as like little bricks, because it looks like bricks, kind of. There's like rust colored elements to it. I guess you could say it looks like bricks. But yeah, that was the nickname it received. These uniforms are extremely rare. I can only find one source um, detailing the information behind these, and that was called Camopedia. It's Wikipedia, but Camo in front of it. Um, that was the only source I could find on these camouflages, like this one in particular. This one is, I couldn't even tell you how rare it was. Um, I couldn't find anything online except that one source I, I mentioned earlier. So, and I couldn't find any photographs. I even messaged the um, person saying if he could, you know, lend me some photographs maybe, but he hasn't gotten back to me. But until then, I have not seen any uh, photos of Russian soldiers wearing these. I know they do exist, I just have not seen them. So yeah. And for the comparison, as you can see, the Kaprichka is on the left and the Woodland is on the right. You can see the many similarities the two camouflages show. You can see it looks very similar, as it is a direct copy. Um, it's like loosely based on the US M81 camouflage, which was very popular at the time. And even now, a lot of countries still use the United States M81 camouflage, Woodland, as it's, you know, it's a very recognizable camouflage. And you can see the Kaprichka has like the same type of um, pattern almost. Very interesting. Another interesting thing is how large these uniforms are. The pants is a size 62 6, which is like a quadruple X. And the uh, uniform top, I think is like a 62, which is like a triple X. Like these are extremely large sizes. Um, so that's also kind of odd about these uniforms. Usually most Russian uniforms are like um, smalls or mediums and maybe larges like 52 is like kind of a, like a large 48 is kind of like a medium or a small so seeing 60 sizes on a such a rare camouflage is astounding like it's just crazy and it's like a full set i have the pants and then the uniform top like i showed but yeah very interesting camouflage um there really isn't any history available online about these camouflages um, like I said, I can only find one source and I believe me, I looked, I literally could not find anything about these, but yeah, I really love the camouflage. I love, love, love M81 camouflage. Like the, I have a pair of urban, um, us tested camouflage. I did a video on before. So yeah, I love the camouflage. Um, if I ever find more information about this specific Kaprichka, um, M81 Woodland, type camouflage i'll definitely make an update video but for now um i'm pretty much in the dark about the history behind these so yeah just wanted to share this